Hi, this is going to be a quick update video. Uh, some guy on my YouTube channel suggested or asked me why I didn't use the 3 pin, but then I found out he was actually talking about the uh, original APM 2.6. He had skipped to the end of my video and just seen the mod I had done and didn't see the first part of it where I attached it to the APM 2.6. But by then it was too late, he already dropped the seed and I kind of wondered why didn't I use the 3 pin. And uh, Right away I jumped into it and looked at the ADC pin and uh, questioned why didn't I use that and uh, tried to get you guys to solder directly onto the pin. Kind of apologized for that. Uh, I was too much in a rush just to hack it I guess and I didn't really try anything else. Um, but anyways I spent some time tracing it out and it is it does go to pin uh, 84 PK5 for the ADC pin or whatever and um, I'll show you guys two separate uh, solder locations where you can solder on instead of directly onto the pin. So if you open it up, I also suggest when you guys uh, open this to mark it with a marker here and here on whichever side of the board. This way when you crack it open, you don't accidentally put it on this way. But anyways, just a little trick. So I'll show you guys the two spots. So the one spot I found is on the top of the board and that's this pad right here so you can solder just one wire here and that would be the white wire for your sonar the other location is coming right off here so if you look on the board here where it says ADC if you have this connector too you can just use the very first wire here and then you don't need to solder I don't have a 3 pin connector for this so anyways, so if you flip it, you can use the very first pad right there. So basically just tin a wire, maybe put some solder on there as well. I'm just doing this in a rush just to show you guys. See if I can get it on there. Okay. So just hot glue it maybe and then find a way for this wire to come out of your APM somewhere. It's up to you guys. So then just throw this guy back on. All right, so I will show you guys some uh, settings in Mission Planner. You have to set the uh, pin to 13 instead of zero. Uh, I looked in the code, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. I tested it um, without it being in the air. So I might still be wrong, but at least all my early tests it shows it's working really good they basically left it open in the code they didn't do a thing like uh, 0 to 9 if anything greater give an error or something or revert they actually left it open so you can actually put pin 13 in and uh, it works so I'll show that emission planner and also again just like my other video you're positive and you're uh, negative just for test reasons here you can just put it here or wherever for your the top rail is your negative, middle is positive, but you can just find this on the bottom of the APM. After, with your red wire here, just attach it to this guy here. You wanna solder it or something. So that'd be that, and then this guy gets plugged into here. So again, just watch my other video for all the uh, calibrations and everything like that. If you end up using my parameters, I'll upload some in case you guys are running into problems. Uh, my parameters already have the pin 13 set up and everything like that. Um, you'll have to recalibrate your compass, your accelerometer, and everything on your remote. So only use mine as a last resort, but at least uh, it'll show you it's working right off the bat, basically. And uh, yeah, now I'll get into the software, and that's it. All right, here's some settings in uh, Mission Planner. Go to Full Parameter Tree. And in this video here, I'll just basically show you the one setting you need to change. So look for RNG, FND, and then uh, here's the settings I use. Now this fine pin, it says only use 0 to 9, but change to 13, and then write your parameter. You want to have these settings the same for now as well, for testing it. And then after that, you should be able to go to initial setup, optional hardware. Make sure your battery monitor is set to disabled because it might conflict with the two. Um, so go into sonar and then you can stick your hand in front of the uh, sonar. Move it around your house or whatever. And uh, 
yeah, it should work. So hopefully this way is a lot easier. Uh, like I just said too, you can have both of them, the battery monitor and the sonar. So if you're using an ADC pin for a battery monitor, you can't use the sonar obviously. So don't piggy tail into that wire. Go into here and make sure it's on disabled. Again, I'll upload my parameters. Just make sure you go to uh, here, either this guy here or the parameter tree and uh, click on save to file. This way you'll back up your parameters and then uh, download mine and then click on load from file and then write them. And then uh, this should be working right off, right out the box type thing. Anyways, uh, hopefully this works for you guys. It's a lot easier than the other way. Um, I'm not really using this APM anymore. It was just bugging me. I wanted to see if I can get it to work and I did. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.